Welcome to this section of the Algebra Word Problem Tutor and in this section we're going to have problems that are going to end up involving quadratic equations and uh, quadratic equations are just a giant fancy word that means equations that involve uh, x squared or y squared, some, some term with a square involved in it, okay? And uh, because of that, um, when you have a variable that's squared in an equation, it becomes called a quadratic equation, that means you're going to have two solutions. So if you have a regular equation with, uh, you know, with no squares, you have one solution. And then if you have a square term, you're going to have two solutions. If you have a cubic term, three solutions, uh, something to the fourth power, four solutions, so on and so forth. But today, for this part of the word problem, we're going to uh, call them, uh, we're going to deal with quadratic equations. So those are going to be equations that have two solutions, okay? So the first problem is, uh, for instance, uh, would say something like the square of a number plus three equals 67. Find the number. Okay, so the first step is just to translate the, uh, the uh, words there to, to what we're trying to deal with. The square of a number, so x is our number, the square of a number plus 3 is equal to 67. Okay, that's how we write that down mathematically. The square of a number plus 3 is 67. Find the number. Well, the first thing we're going to do is get x squared by itself. So it's going to be 67 minus 3. We just subtract 3 from both sides. Okay, so x squared is going to be 67 minus 3, which is 64, okay? And then in order to, uh, to solve this, we're going to end up taking the, uh, the square root of both sides of this equation. You're going to take the, uh, the square root of both sides of this equation. The square root of a square is just simply itself. So we're going to have x on the left is going to equal square root of 64. But don't forget, anytime we put a square root like this to solve, we have to put plus or minus. I'll come back and explain why the plus or minus has to be there. But for now, just say, okay, when you put a square root like this to solve for something, you have to put a plus or a minus. Okay? Square root of 64 is 8. So x is going to equal plus 8, and x is going to equal minus 8. That's what the plus or minus means here. So we, we uh, satisfied what we said we were going to, to have. We said we're going to have two solutions because this is a quadratic uh, equation with the power of 2. One solution is positive 8, one solution is negative 8. Now let's go see if this makes sense, okay? Plug it back in here and just check our work. Positive 8 times positive 8, which is 8 squared, is 64 plus 3 is 67. If we take the negative 8 and put it in here, then we will have negative 8 times negative 8, which is uh, x squared, we put in negative 8. Again, that's 64 plus 3 which is 67. So we get the right answer. And so both of these are valid solutions that, that totally make sense um, there. And because of that, that's why you have to put the plus or minus. Anytime you take the square root of something trying to solve an equation, you have to put a plus or minus there because when you do that, you know that either the plus or the minus value will go back and that will be valid. Okay? And I've kind of shown you here, even the negative value works because negative times negative gives you positive. And that's why you have to to do that, anytime you take the square root uh, of something, when you're trying to solve an equation, you're trying to solve for some unknown variable, anytime you take the square root of something, you have to put plus or minus out there because the negative value is just as valid as the positive value is because when you square it, it doesn't really matter if it's negative. Okay? So the next problem would say something like one number is two more than another number. The product of the numbers is 24. Find the numbers. So we're just going to go in and, and translate these statements to math and try to solve them. So we're going to have two numbers. I'm going to call them x and y. Uh, 